When opening an SVG file in Cricut Design Space, every line is imported as a cut line. If your project has folds that are intended to be scored, you'll need to convert the cut lines to score. If you have purchased one of my files, you will see in the download two folders that are you don't have a scoring tool and you have a scoring tool. Inside the folder you don't have a scoring tool, you will find SVG cut files with dash score lines. These lines are intended to be cut with the cutting machine blade. It is perfect for those who don't have a cutting machine with a scoring tool or prefer to have dashed fold lines. The only downside to using this file is depending on your design. It may take longer for you to cut out the project as the cutting machine has to cut each dash line individually. The upside is you don't need any special settings or tools, just set to cut cardstock as you normally would. Inside the folder you have a scoring tool, you will find SVG cut files with solid score lines. They are usually shown in red, however when imported into Cricut Design Space, they become black, which may be a tad confusing if you don't know what you're looking for. These lines are intended to be scored with the scoring tool. It is perfect for those who have a scoring stylus or scoring wheel and prefer to have solid indented fold lines. The process for your machine cutting these is much quicker. The only downside is you need to tell Cricut which lines need to be scored. So let's go through that now. So step one is upload the SVG file to Cricut Design Space. Step two is ungroup the shapes. By default, all the shapes will be grouped together. In order to select individual lines, right click on the grouped shapes and select ungroup from the pop-up menu. Step three, select and convert score lines. Select all of the fold lines on the canvas, then click basic cut in the operations section of the navigation bar to see a drop down menu. Select score to change the selected lines to score lines. Sometimes small lines can be difficult to select individually. If you are having trouble selecting a line on the canvas, just locate the shape in the layer panel on the right. Click the row to select the shape and then select score from the drop down menu at the top of the canvas. If done correctly, you will see that the layer has been changed from basic cut to score. You will now also see dotted score lines showing instead of solid score lines. Do the same steps for all the layers that need to be scored. Step four, attach layers. This is a very important step. Once you have changed all the score lines to score, you need to attach each shape. This will make sure that the Cricut will score and then cut the project where it is intended. Select each shape with the cut and the score line layers together. Right click and click on attach. Do this for all the layers and shapes that have a score and cut lines together. Step five, cut out your project. You should now see the shape with the cut and the score lines showing together. Go ahead and cut out your project. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you again in the next video.